everyone, my name is Arthur. I'm here in, in Brasilia, in Diego's house, in Roca Chechoffs, in Brasilia. And now I will show you my GSOC project. I send in this, in this channel, in this Jitsi, the presentation so you can can see there if my if we have some bug or lag in the presentation. So my project is this open source watch framework, and uh, I, I made the connection between Rocket and Rocket Chat, Bot Press, Haza, and Bot Kits. There are bot frameworks. So I will start with a demo. You can see this video. It's a simple video. So in the I added a live chat channel in the initial page, in the index page of Rocket Chat, and insert there a bot press bot with one of the technologies that, that I use it. So when I said my name, the bot learn my name. And they he suggested me to talk with another bot. So I send another message to the bot and then he interacts again. After I I enter in the Rocket Chat, he is the second bot, he is a Haza bot. So he he asked me to learn more about Rocket Chat. So this bot is a show bot. He will teach new users and uh, maybe customers how to use and what you can can use inside Rocket Chat. So he starts teaching some things and will teach this user, in this case me, how to create a channel. And here the user is following these steps and adds the bot to the new channel. Back to the direct message with the bot to say that everything is work. Everything is working. And the bot will ask for more more teaching. So the user say no. And after that, after the user learn more about Rocket Chat, the bot will will send the user to another bot. This is the third one. This is the bot kit bot. And this is a cell bot. So the user is starting the initial page of Rocket Chat and go to the second bot that the user learn how to use the Rocket Chat. And the third one, it's this. The, this bot will learn how to how to we learn how to have he, his own rocket chat so this is this example okay uh, so i i built these three different bots with a context and now i will sh i will show you how i made this possible so as I said, my, my proposal was to build adapters capable to make integrations between Rocket Chat and Haza Bot Kit and Bot Press. These are bot frameworks. So all my work is in these repositories. These are links. And each, each, each solution have a connector and I start a repository. Uh, Haza is the different one uh, because we we made a fork of the Haza project and built the solution inside there because each bot framework have his own architecture, his own code, and each solution was different. Different. So talking a little bit about BotKit solution, this is the the BotKit adapter repository. Here is where the integration between BotKit and Rocket Chat is made, and this is the start the rocket chat here is some some configuration that you need to to build as developer of bots to make the integration between rocket chat so i made this image and here you can see better how everything is it's working inside the bot kit so the bot kit uses the driver the rocket chat as uh, js sdk to make the integration between the bot kit and Rocket Chat and have a lot of functions and configuration. And after that, in the starter, we have the, 
the configurations like environment variables as your host, your bot's name, what your bot can do, like answer direct message or answer in live chat channel, you configure it in here. So I realized that we will be need to use the starter of bot kit because of this code. This is uh, this print is from the bot kit main repository. And when you, uh, I, I understand that when you start your bot kit, you type bot kit in it, and the bot will ask which platform you, you use, and you say Slack or Telegram, and the bot kit will just make a clone of the starter, and after that, we'll run in PM install. So this is ter interesting, and that's why I am using the starter about bot, bot kit. So I made I made a lot of work, but uh, in the in the construction of the the bot kit connector, uh, I need help. So as this is an, an example of help about the bot kit community. Here is with Ben Brown, the bot kit creator, and he answer answer me uh, uh, the difference between the starter and the connector. So. I need to interact with BotKit and BotPress community as has a community too. This is a, a mark of my of my GSOC project. This is when I made the first integration. So this this is when I I program a bot in the BotKit Studio and send a message through Rocket Chat. But after that, we started to make tests and the bot didn't work it. Uh, as as was needed. So with a help of Singly, Singly came and tried to understand all of my work and, and help me and Diego to build it. And after after a couple of days, we find a solution and uh, here's my thanks to Sing. So about BotPress, BotPress, well, I, I had another, another challenge with BotPress because they start to to change the way the the bot press framework work because they had a a, a bot press main repository and a model repository, but when we started it, they they are moving the all all the models of bot press inside the main project, so we had to to handle with this this configuration, and this is another example. They have um, a a lot of upgrades in the last days and they went from version 10.10.24 10 to 10.31 so the we need to handle this evolution of each frameworks why we we build the connectors uh, in the end about Haza, this is our fork of Haza, and we found a, a pull request of integration between has and rocket set that helped me to improve the integration so here we can say many channels and these are the files that are, that make possible the integration between has and rocket chat uh, a difference between has and the others bot frameworks that has it's made in python and the others are made in javascript so i i didn't have npm link or something that stuff to help me in the in the construction of the connector so i use a, a a docker image and this is the image you can use if you want and all the the configuration are in the start of hazard in the end this is a, a some numbers i created and committed in seven repositories with 166 commits and three packages. There are the BotPress Channel Rocket Chat Connector and the BotKit Rocket Chat Connector. And the third one is the Rocket Chat Pi SDK because we have the Rocket Chat JS SDK, but we don't have the Pi SDK. So I start to, to build it and uh, I am making improvements to use it in the Hazard Connector. So, uh, to finalize, I, I had these challenges. My project was three projects 
in one. I, I had a lot of work to do. And uh, another challenge was understand each batch, each framework architecture and engage the community was a, a difficult too because each framework have their own their own roadmap and their own issues and sometimes it was hard to integrate with with the with, with each community the learning curve was was hard because in the construction of each batch framework i i was not capable to to use my knowledge in bot kit building the bot pass connector and i can't use my knowledge in bot pads building the the hazard connector because they are all different. But that be, so I need to I had a learning curve, a resettable learning curve. And uh, another challenge was the evolution of each framework because they are growing every day and we need to track it in the the construction of each connector. Uh, till now, I solved, I solved some issues because the basket was the first connector and the community started to use it. I had I had already some issues and pull requests. I already um, checked and reviewed some pull requests and issues. I need to, to solve the rest of the basket issues. Publish the latest PySDK version because it's a. Uh, it's not really done, and make PRs to the official uh, framework repository with the with each one of the connectors. These are our lessons. As I said, I am in the Diego's house, and we we work it every every Saturday, uh, presentially, in presential. So this was very good to me to make pair program with my mentor and this happened to me a lot. Relationship, which I my oh my relationship and that's it. I would like to thank you, Hawker Chat, to make to give me this opportunity. I learned a lot of things and participation of this project made me it's made me a, a better software engineer. So that's it. If you have any any questions, I can show you or show more about the bots or the connectors. Thank you very much. Awesome. Um, I, I want to say a few things. Uh, I've been mentoring Arthur since the beginning of this project, and uh, in fact, we have faced a lot of challenges with, uh, well, I think, major in understanding the architecture of the frameworks. But uh, the community, uh, the community help uh, and the support was amazing. We had uh, this uh, with like every community, we have some challenges to, to make them engage but once they once we were in contact they kind of uh, brought all knowledge that we need to finish and that was pretty pretty cool and um, I, I've had the privilege to see Arthur evolving and crashing and banging his head against the wall a lot of times and that was a uh, uh, Pretty amazing experience. And now we have finally uh, three connectors, three different connectors for the most important open source bot frameworks on the market. And that gives us uh, a, a real a, a real place on the market to, to, to be a, a better place for bots to work, not only depending on who bought and, and you know, that, that's kind of an amazing work. Congratulations, Arthur. Thank you very much, Diego. So you, you guys have any questions? Yeah. Please, sorry. Go on. Uh, 
you can find me at my in GitHub or in the open. I am Arthur Tempurin. And that's it. If you want to, to check the repository with, with these bots that, that I showed you, I will send the link. The README, I need to make improvements in the README, but there are the bots that I use it. And you can play with, with each one of them. Thank you very much. So guys, no questions? Anyone? Yeah, I have a question. Um, is there some uh, tests implemented in the, the framework, something like we could run in CI to make sure we did not break anything connecting to Rocket Chat or connecting to the bots? Or is that uh, something planned to the future related to that? This is, uh, this is planned to the future, and I miss it a lot of this <laughs> CI and, and passes and was very hard to build it because there's no test and I had to learn how each one worked. But I, I, I didn't have the enough time to make this configuration. And now the each framework it's working, it's easier to create the CI and, and unit test stuff. We had tried to make some to bot kit. Am I, yes. am I right? Yes, I made some tests because I I, I miss it so much. <laughs> awesome. So I hope I will play a bit with both frameworks uh, soon. Then I feel have a feedback free. for you. Yes, feel free to open many issues. We need it. Yeah, for sure. Awesome. Thank you guys. Uh, this was recorded on YouTube. I'll send you guys the link just after this. And once again, uh, congratulations, Arthur. Thank you everyone for being here and have a great evening. Awesome, thank you. Congratulations, Arthur and, and Diego. Bye bye. Thank you. Bye guys. Hello, galera. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hello.